another episode of the Mayor Tyler Moore Show here on the Kokomo Post, partnered with Walls Furniture and Mattress. My name is Drew Larrison. Uh, this is MTM. Mr. Mayor, how are you? Doing great. Doing great. Coming off a good weekend. Yeah. The sun is shining. It's starting to warm up a little bit. April is upon us. About time. And we are ready to roll into spring full throttle. You know that Time Hop app? That exists. You ever heard of that? No. Like you, time uh, hop. you can connect all your social media accounts to it, like oh. your photos on your phone, and you go back and it shows you like what photo you took four years ago or five okay. years ago. Huh. I, I looked at it over the weekend. Four years ago, I took a photo and like we got like this weird winter wonderland snow in April. Oh. And then I remember I took another picture 24 hours later and all of the <laughs> was snow was melted. It was beautiful in spring again. That's that's Indiana. That's weather. Indiana weather, right. baby. Yeah. So speaking of Indiana weather, uh, we have a sponsor for the show that I want to give out a shout out to. And it's Kokomo Family Fun Factory Outlet. Look out. And so that is a great local business here. They sell. And I'm not kidding when I say this. The best like playground, backyard, playground, and play. Sets. Sweet. We recently got one last oh, year. Oh, good. And our kids actually played it on over the weekend. Great little spot. They've got all the customization features. If you want swings, if you want a big tire swing, if you want like a fort aspect. Perfect. Like all the things. Love all those people over there at Kokomo Fun, Family Fun Factory. You can check them out on Facebook at Family Fun Factory Outlet. Um, it's the time for that. So if your kids, if you don't want them on iPads this summer, mm-hmm. all summer long, you want them outside, you want them playing around make sure to check out um family fun factory outlet i'm like trying said, to think where they, they are they are right on i'm sure they i'm sure they've got things out that you can oh, go yeah, and check sure. out yeah i mean it's basically a free park you can just okay. go run and take the kids in the play on them and they'll tell you which ones oh, they, they want north on 30 uh, 931 yeah, south south uh, 931 it's right by like crossroads church is oh like over that, in that far area. So, okay by got that it. landscaping place as well yep. um go check it out they've got a bunch of different options for your family they can fit any sort of budget they also do um the installation for you because these aren't just like metal swing sets they're oh. made with really nice cedar high quality wood perfect um a lot of different design options play options um check them out as well as i want to talk about ipt's which is a newer screen printing company here mm-hmm. in town spring sports season is around the corner and IPT screen printing is the place to go for all your uniform needs. Contact Kyle Fouts at 765-480-3082 for more information. There's a 20 shirt minimum required. Check them out on Facebook. That's IPT screen printing, screen printed apparel for any occasion and uniforms for any sport. So thank both of them uh, for being a sponsor here of the Mayor Tyler Moore Show as well as Walls Furniture and Mattress. The OGs so to speak, of the Mayor Tyler Moore show. You know them. You love them. Great uh, <laughs> furniture store here in Kokomo. They've got some mattresses sales going on right now. H- H- tell Austin that we sent you. Shout out to Austin. Big fan of that guy. Great guy. Uh, moving to Kokomo. Makes Perfect. That. Yeah, so go it. check out Walls Furniture and Mattress in Kokomo as well. Um, yeah, so you had a good weekend? Yes. Full one. Nice. I yep. ran into you shopping. Shopping. Yep. I was going to say my the old wife Nate. coaxed me into uh, driving her around and picking up some things that uh, we needed. There you go. So, yeah. Yep. Finger quotes there. Yeah. That was my first time going to the new old Navy. Really? I hadn't been in that mm-hmm. store yet. I, when they were in the Markland Mall, I had been over there, but I, yep. I hadn't been over to the new spot. It's nice. It is nice. It's smaller, which is good for them probably. And Complimented that area too with everything else. The, the yeah. Shoes yeah. and DJ Maxx. That's, yeah. It's a nice little area over yep. there mm-hmm. over by Eric Chevrolet and the old Red Lobster. A classic. The Red Lobster. Those Cheddar Bay Biscuits. <laughs> you're shaking your head. Nope. And you're, you're, I mean, you have a shellfish allergy. Oh. So that's probably not your favorite restaurant in Kokomo. No. Even with it the biscuits. That, that, thanks for that commentary, Aaron. Yep. That's, uh, that's good. Yeah, so uh, we saw you over there doing some shopping. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was a good weekend. Bobcats got two wins this weekend. We had good games on Friday and Saturday night. I can feel it in the air today that like jackrabbits are starting soon. I know, I know. I'm excited about that. Summer in Kokomo, the concert series, Mm -hmm. the lineup got announced last week, I think. Yeah, Um, a lot of fun acts. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah, Kyle with the the Coterie and the Riverwalk. Yeah. So much live music um, going on this summer in Kokomo. We're really excited about it. Um, Yeah, so to to check out, actually I'm going to pull it up so we can talk about it, but we posted um that summer concert series lineup. The lineup, yeah. We can go through those real quick. Let's do that. Absolutely. Uh, here we go. 
uh, one of them that Thank I'm really you. excited about is I I love these, but we'll we'll get there. So the Wunderlich band, Wunderlich, uh -huh. I'm saying that right. They are a Beatles uh -huh. tribute band. They're going to be in town on Saturday, June 11th. Mm -hmm. Oh, Rubber Soul, Rubber Soul, right? Oh, there it is, Rubber yes. Soul. That makes more sense. Rubber Soul is the Beatles tribute band with an opener of Wunderlich, Wunderlich. band. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so check them out. June 11th, June 18th um, is Weber, Weber Fest, Fest featuring. Yes. I love these guys. It's Reverend Peyton's big damn band. Oh my gosh! And if you've never seen They've them got live. Horns. Oh, just it's amazing. Nice. They're yeah. so fun to watch live. Mm -hmm. It's a husband wife um, duo, I think, in that band. And like the trio, not all husband and wife. So there's a Correct. husband and wife and somebody else uh, <laughs> in that band. Um, but they're awesome. They do like really cool, like, uh, I guess, folk music, but like modern rock folk almost. Ooh. Like it's like good hardcore, like banjo mm -hmm. skills as well as guitar. I mean, they have a washboard. I feel like they pull out they're sometimes. Great, they have man. a washboard. It's like kind of bluegrassy. But the coolest bluegrass, part is that like he plays the yeah. like l the like two strings on the bottom as mm -hmm. the bass yeah. at the Wild same drink. time as he plays the guitar on like the top strings it's the wildest coolest thing yeah, like it's not there is a full bass like I don't know like happen and, and at the same time he's also playing guitar it's mm. wild mm -hmm. it's so cool what was that bass line that's a good baseline. Yep, thank right, you. And then, thank so that's you June. Um, I might be maybe maybe he'll yeah. want me to be in the band. Doing, I love. Oh, I think that. I love after that, that audition, that's good. It's possible. So it we might, might need be. a different producer. Yeah. So they're from Southern Indiana, and so that's Weber Fest with Reverend Payton's Big Damn Band, as well as Soup Bone and Backwater. Uh -huh. Those are two different groups, and my goodness, those are great names for bands. <laughs> Soup Bone. It's Hello, I'm Backwater. Soup Bone. I'm Backwater. We're gonna play some music mm -hmm. uh went sling blade there don't know why. Yep. I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, june 25th is the carver center's 25th anniversary celebration uh when doves cry they're a prince tribute band so like Sweet. that'll be fun and then so june 30th through july 2nd we've got haynes apperson festival which those are not announced yet yep nothing yet stay tuned yep Coca haynes apperson festival takes care of those Love you, that. you wanna you wanna you don't know anything you got you i don't know anything any nope i don't know anything okay just check yep. Need to know. He's lying. I just uh, covered the July, fireworks. <laughs> July 16th, we've got Rum Fest um, featuring students, obviously, from Rum yep, Academy of Music, which time. is great. July 23rd, we've got Firefighters Jeep Jam. This is the, uh, this will be the third year in a row that uh, Scott McKay and the group with the firefighters are putting this Jeep Jam together, and they fill Foster Park with all kinds of, uh, obviously, Jeeps. And uh, But, yeah, Los Colones. What about Broncos? Do you think they'll, anybody will have their new Bronco down there? Because the new Broncos exist now. No, not at a Jeep. Would they really? get kicked out? They That's might funny. let you park up on Superior. No, you got to have like yeah. a, like a, I don't know, like a Bronco Bazaar. That's, I don't know. A something Bronco, Bronco Bazaar. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a went sling blade again. Uh, Los Colones, mm -hmm. you said, right? Yeah, All right. So seven, then August 6th, uh, the Kokomo Symphony Orchestra featuring ABBA. ABBA Fab. Fab. Should yeah. be really fun. So that's a, that should be fun to see. Um, let's see. Performance will also include a VIP section. So mm -hmm. check that out. And then August 20th, we've got them Flying the Toasters. Flying Toasters. Yeah, They've People been flying here for a while, those toasters. Yeah, People quite a love bit. those around mm -hmm. here. And then ending it off on September 17th is, is Summer Endless band. Summer again. Endless Summer Band. Yep. Yes, that's one of the nation's most in-demand entertainment bands playing, performing over 120 shows a year. That's crazy. Right, right. Um, T.A. Weber does hits. a great job lining those yeah. up. Yeah. Last couple of years. So great vocals and instrumentation, it. high energy core, ooh, choreography and audience ooh. participation. Uh -huh. So that should be fun. Yeah. And then Kyle, yeah. I know he's working on the Riverwalk concert yep. series too. I don't think he's announced anything yet. We mm -hmm. would have heard some about that. Probably our friend Kyle, the coder, he's going to, um, you know, those, those shows are really cool. If you didn't make Fill one in the of gaps. those. Yep. Incredibly. Yep. Yeah. No, Great times. a lot of live music in Kokomo coming up. Um, yeah. I mean, we always talk about what's going on at city hall this week. Uh, still a lot of planning. Got everybody coming back from spring break, but now that the weather's breaking a little bit. Uh, uh, doing some spring cleaning around the, throughout the city. I know that uh, there's still uh, potholes that are rearing their ugly head. So if folks see those four five six seven four five four, report them. Uh, really, any type of uh, road or street uh, issues, feel free to call that line. It's monitored daily. Um, also, uh, with the spring cleaning, a lot of leaves and limbs uh, that are still working their way out of people's properties. Yep. We now, um, because um, a 
company Green Cycle has now taken over the uh, Yard Waste Center from the Recycling District. Uh, they do ask us when we bring things in to have them kind of separated. So when folks bring things to the uh, curbs, there's going to be a, a public announcement uh, go out that uh, keep limbs, leaves separate so that we can pick uh-huh. them up. Uh, because there are certain things that they take or have uh, out for them to process it. So, Well, if we've learned uh, anything about the people of Kokomo separating things correctly uh, when it comes to coming to the curb. I know. Yeah. That should so we'll be interesting. see. Okay. And uh, I don't know this. I should. Like when, like if there were a limb or a tree or a pile of, of things, do you have to call this? It helps. Yes. It helps. It but helps. it's not required. Else. It's yeah. not required. They may just not get to it right away if, if they don't see them. And, and people are like, well, the trash guys come barreling past there and get those. Well, sometimes in, they're in the zone and they're just looking at cans and stuff and yeah. may not. Or the or they may report back and not get uh, the loader out there to go and grab those things. Here is a non-related question, right? So uh, you referenced that people have trouble separating things because a couple shows ago we talked recycling. about recycling, recycling and that folks are putting... Um, you know, things, non-recyclables, trash. extra mm-hmm. trash into, okay, here's my question, guys. We are here in an office where we have some shared, um, we have some shared trash bins yes. with uh, residential folks. Okay. There were non-recyclable things in the recycling. Mm-hmm. Here's my question. If it's you, do you dive in and like Mm-mm. get it Mm-mm. and fix it? Mm-mm. Sure don't. Big dilemma That's I had gross. the other day standing in someone else's trash, mm. like pulling out pizza boxes that I don't know it may or may not have been touched. Um, yeah. You're growing in. So I just want you to know that <laughs> that's yeah. the work I'm doing for the city to Thank save you, you so from, much. The, um, from, from having to pay more for non-recyclables. But mm. um, I was really like, I had this moment of, do I, do I do? Maybe hmm. if you know your neighbors. Nope. Sure, don't know them. But yeah, but I was going to say, I, yeah, I'm not doing that. Here's all I know. They eat hot box pizza and they think that pizza um, containers are recyclable. Yep. Well, they obviously don't watch the Mayor Tyler Moore And show. I get their it's cardboard, but because there's the pizza grease sitting on them, they are contaminated. So they go in the trash. So Drew, you would, you would not uh, dumpster dive in, <laughs> into no. a stranger's trash for recycling. Mayor, you? Nope. Again, only if, I, spot, only if yeah. I knew the, like, if, if it's my neighbors, and I you know, know if I can trust them. I, I got a pretty good idea. It's but trash for pizza a Pizza crust, right? It gets his trash. It wasn't trash. They had it in the recyclables. No, I'm just saying, like, well, it, it's still recyclable trash. Like, if there's a reason they just don't, they don't yeah. have that in their home. Anymore. I mean, I won't drive around or if I'm, if I'm driving past something mm-hmm. and I see mm-hmm. limbs or pizza boxes uh-huh. uh, sticking out of somebody, I'm, I'm not going to pull over, go back and pull them out and then throw them in the trash. <laughs> Not happening. I will yep. say you'd probably just put it in his head, though, a superhero costume where you do go through people's <laughs> trash and sort. Super sorter. There it is. The super, super sorter. sorter. There it is. You're welcome. I'll oh, accept man. royalties. By so many future like careers happen in here. Well, I mean, speaking of, you know, like superheroes and like movies and, you know, action and things like that. Big announcement from the city last week. Yes. Big announcement. The, the Terror it, it, Squad it, remake. Yeah, it came out Coming on, the, to town. on April 1st, which is, a, a you know, just a day. Uh-huh. Um, nothing special on that. Terror Squad, which is a 1980s film filmed mm-hmm. in Kokomo. Excellent film. Capital B movie. <laughs> if they're <laughs> generous. Uh, no, so Terror Squad was a movie filmed in 1988, right? I think it was like... 80, I think filming began oh, okay. in 86, and I think it was released either 87 or 88. 88, I think is what I saw. Um, yeah, big news. They're they're making a remake, huh? <laughs> they are. That's interesting. That, Tell us yes, about it. Yes, obviously uh, um, uh, an April Fool's <laughs> post. But holy cow, I think, I mean, we've far exceeded any social media post uh, by the city of Kokomo with, with that. Broke some records. Uh, broke some records. And all it had to do was lie to people. And I, <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I texted you about but, middle of the day. I'm like, man. I think you made it too believable <laughs> because it like all the comments were like, this is so cool. They were so excited. I remember when I was in it, you know, my, my husband and son want to be in where, who do we call? And God love him. Tom Toland. We, we that put, guy. we had his cell phone in as the casting call number and he was receiving calls all morning. So halfway, like hundreds of calls halfway through the, through the morning, we had to change, we called. change the number. Uh, I don't think they were, they were, so it they wasn't a working yet. one. Yeah. No, but I uh, was, when I called, 
I was waiting to hear an answering machine of you being like, April Fool's going about like something like that. But I think we called too early. Tom Tolan has to get on this show someday. Oh, yes. yes. That has and to he happen. Will, yeah. He has to come here. I don't think I told you this. Um, we were getting out of the car the other day with pizza. We do a, a pizza party lunch for our team right. uh, once a week. And so we were getting out with all this great uh, pizza. And I'm struggling <laughs> with the pizza, the salads, all the stuff. And Tom so sweetly was just coming around the corner. And he was like, you know, here, let me help you. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. Like, I don't know what I would have done. And he just took the pizza and continued walking right <laughs> around the corner. <laughs> was he wearing his clown shoes? Uh, no, he did not have clown shoes on. Okay. He, had just, he had like a sweet suit, suit on. Yeah. And and I really didn't think it was coming but back. He, he I thought had, that was it. So, but Drew's question, I mean, he did he have his wingtip clown shoes he's got wingtip no, clown shoes. Not, yeah i wasn't just making a like he wears know that. like the big black puffy end clown sh- like black big dress toes. shoes but with a giant he's no, the he most interesting human he i think is. i've ever seen in my life the only, i recently added yeah. him on facebook and he added me back yes. well he i requested and he i've never been more excited to get like that notification like tom Tolan has accepted your friend request yeah he's, and what, what's his position for those who don't know him what's his position he is city? a development specialist so he helps with programs he that uh, for those that are interested in in uh, starting businesses uh, in the community he's also kind of our resident historian as well if oh, we yes. need a backstory on on the history of a building or uh, an individual that, through the history of Kokomo or something he loves digging into news archives and, yeah. and such and pulling just out the most strange and unique uh, facts and stories about uh, Kokomo. He also is the so, casting manager it. for the new Terror Squad movie. Yeah. Back. There we go. I swear there's been a few movies. So Terror Squad happened. Do you remember um, when uh, what was it? County Line. County there was Line. this movie called County Line. Do you remember oh, dear. this? No. When some local like oh, um, my. film people said they were going to make a zombie movie in Kokomo oh, years no. ago. Really? Yeah. It never happened. I missed that. Um, people lost it. They lost their minds. There were some like, there was, there was some filming I think Not that bad. happened and, and, and I don't think the film ended up being completed. Yeah. Yeah. People were excited. It was like this generation's terror squad. hundred nice. percent. But oh it, except it never actually happened. Yeah. By the way, Wait. terror squad um, is just on YouTube for free. Mm-hmm. So you can get on YouTube and you don't have to pay check for it because it, it would probably be shocking to make people pay for that movie. Just type in Terror Squad Kokomo and yep. yeah, it's for and free. On a, I think it's a 20 minute car chase. Oh, nothing sure. but car chase. Food. My favorite. So there's Through like a school Kokomo. bus used. There's like this, a school bus used. Um, and multiple school buses used but anyway Ooh. yes that's what i'm getting to so the beginning of the movie there's like a full school bus or this being of a scene or something like that's so a normal chase. school bus but then at the end it cuts. randomly it turns into like one of the short buses and they just try to make sure or hope that no one noticed yeah and like this <laughs> short school bus does like a big jump i'm telling Ooh. you there's like explosions it's uh-huh. it's something else they I, blew up a lot of crap yeah for that thing what did the city say there was some like smokestack Yes. That they, did they actually blow that up? Uh-huh. Yeah. And it just never was rebuilt? Mm-mm. That's amazing. Yep. No, it needed to come down anyhow, and so That's I think amazing. it was on Warren's Auto Parts it's site, the and they were needing to bring it down anyhow, and so I wrote that in to, as part of the production costs. And Aaron, I have a job. Brought it down. I yes. want to find the director of Terror Squad, and I want Bree to interview them. Yes. And it, I want to explain all of it. I want all the, the details, the backstories, the arguments they probably had with the mayor back then. Like, Hopefully they're still alive. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Yeah. yeah may, I mean, Steve well, Daly was know. mayor. Steve Daly was so, the mayor. We know like, Steve's What around. is that like? And what do they remember? That would be hilarious. Yeah. We need Love to look it. that up. Okay. Love it. Okay. Uh, oh, next thing I want to talk about is the adult Easter egg hunt coming up, which this is a great yearly event. They mm-hmm. do it at Jackson Morrow. Park, Jackson right? Morrow. Yep. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that. So yeah, the Tory row and the parks department, uh, they go and, and solicit, uh, businesses to donate to certain items and, uh, they do it at night and bring a flashlight and, uh, it's usually a good time. Yeah. We've, weather we've, cooperates. we've done that a few times. Um, it is fun cause it's dark and there's mm-hmm. just a bunch of adults and adults get to and what, let me say, uh, your definition of fun and mine we have done this once and we got headlamps right like we were we thought we were going to be really into it Uh and what ended up happening was like triathletes came out of nowhere people take it seriously and there we collectively between the four of us it was a double date who went we got 
10 eggs? Some five. Five. Five eggs. And I think one of them was given to us, like, kind oh, of by pity. somebody else. Someone, like, flicked it to us and said, don't yeah. spend it all yeah. in one place. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. yeah, people take yeah. it in 10. It was, it's it was so intense. It's, it's a fun place. Like uh-huh. It was fun. The eggs aren't just for kids. Right. You know, give the adults. Yeah, the kids out. ones earlier that afternoon uh, at Northwest Park. Yeah, there you go. On the softball diamond. So that should be fun. But no, it is, it, the people take it very seriously. very seriously. It was, it was so much fun. It was wild. Like three, two, one, go. And people just uh, it's like sprinting. Black and Friday shopping. The doors open. Yes. Look out, stepping like, over people. And we ended up, I'm looking at people with pillowcases full of eggs. And I'm like, how did these gymnasts <laughs> get, like, how <laughs> did these hurdlers? Yeah. Uh, it was amazing. We're the couple it was that amazing. Like, went to Half Moon before and like we're yeah. like a few beer, a few beers in and 100%. like a giant plate of nachos. And we're like, we're going to run and get eggs. Yeah, that, that's the type of athletes we were for that. Yep. Event. Yeah. Get, which I mean, either way, you're going to have a good time. Absolutely. Whether you are it was great. a Olympic you. athlete who has an eye for eggs of yep. the pastel color or, you know, you're just wanting to have a good time. It's mm-hmm. a good time to just go out and go see. Fact, uh, Jackson Morrow Park. So go check that out. Uh, another thing, Coco Go coming back this Friday, which Coco Mo, Coco Go is one of those things that is what is this year three four? Oh no, five seven it, it, twelve? Uh, at least five. Twenty eight. Twenty eight years. It's yeah. been going on in Coco for twenty eight. Twenty eight. Oh, she fact checked it. Oh, you were kidding. Okay. I'm oh. lying. That's like, it's an April fourth. Di- April fourth. Fools. You know day Fool. it is. April fourth day. Joke. Yep. Um, yeah, Coco go four or five years, something mm-hmm. like that. A great free um, bike share bike program, share program. Uh-huh. downtown. It's down by Fox's Trail, mm-hmm. actually right where the Riverwalk concert series uh-huh. happens. Yeah. So yeah, two go, trestle you, bridges. Yeah, yeah. So you can take your family. Um, it's a hundred percent free. Mm-hmm. I think you have to give me your debit card just in case you like steal the bike or something like that. Yeah. Um, but it's a hundred percent free. Go jump on a bike. Go see all these trails that he talks all about on this mm-hmm. show and like how's he making them better and how they're a great thing for Kokomo. Go right around Foster Park. Go right around Kokomo. Go see the splash pad. Go to Kokomo Beach. Whatever you want to do. Yep. It's a free bike. They have um, kids bikes available. They have a, obviously adult bikes and they have like those what are they called tag alongs? Tag alongs. Tag alongs yep. as well. So like mm-hmm. your kids can sit in one of those and yep. enjoy it um Act like they're yeah, helping great thing great thing in kokomo um because there's so much stuff to see when the weather mm-hmm. breaks in kokomo there's so much to, all the trails that we talked about all the events and all that um go grab dinner at yep. fox's trail and then grab on a bike and burn off all the you know the long island iced tea frozen iced teas that you've had and Perfect. it's a great thing in kokomo yep Yep, and we're getting ready to install about four and a half more miles worth of uh or cover four and a half more miles of the trails uh, throughout the city uh, with cameras as part of our ARP funding. Love that. So getting ready to, to get that uh, finalized and hopefully installed by summer. But Somebody asked I mean, about the trails that are actually you know safer than than what people <coughs> make it out to be. I mean, the, the more activity that's on there, the, the less chance of any type of you know, events to happen, so to speak. So, I mean, it is. It's great. I was on them uh, yesterday and it's great. A lot of people out and about and enjoying them. It's just really nice. Yeah, it's really, and they are, they're one of those things in Kokomo. You don't really realize how nice they are until you mm-hmm. get on them. Yep. I, t- I mean, at the end of last summer, I started taking our dog on walks mm-hmm. on that trail. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, that was the first time I walked, jumped on them and like, you can go anywhere. Yeah. They're so nice. Everybody on the trail was super friendly. Pepper, our dog got to meet some other doggies that day. See? Some doggy friends. It's great. It was great. Great for the whole family. Yeah, jump on the trail, jump on a bike um, at Coco Go. So, I mean, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. I'm excited about spring. I'm excited about summer. Um, Jackrabbits, I'm really excited. Congrats, by the way, the Nathan Martin. Yes, uh, from the Jack new Rabbit general just manager got, just kind of announced the uh, the new GM, which is local his, flavor. That'll be well, good. yeah, that's what I was mm-hmm. going to say. This is the first time in Jackrabbit history where um, the GM is a local guy. Yeah, and that's what we had imposed upon them. I mean, you, they were they keep talking about bettering the fan experience and and what they need to do for Kokomo. And we just we told them, well, you need somebody that's got their finger on the pulse of the community that yeah. knows Kokomo. And uh, fortunately, they kind of kept that in mind when um, uh, the previous GM decided uh, not to continue and uh, kept Nathan on. And I think he's going to do a great job for him. No, I'm excited about that. Um, Pretty some exciting news, actually, coming up soon from the Kokomo Post and the Kokomo Jackrabbits. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for more. Pretty excited about that. Good. Um, Yeah, but a lot of stuff going on. City halls, you know, planning away, doing all the things they do. That's right. We're getting ready for another Kokomo. Yeah, in fact, uh, in in a couple weeks, so we can 
touch on it next week as well, but on April 14th, uh, the city of Kokomo is partnering with Ivy Tech and IUK, career as well fair. as Work One. Yeah, yeah, big career fair up at Ivy Tech and Hinks Hall. So uh, over 70 employers will be up there looking for uh, individuals and um, it's not just for Ivy Tech and IUK students. Mm-hmm. Anybody in the community, uh, any age, uh, can uh, come out and, and speak to some employers. Um, some things to remember to maybe do. Uh, update your resume. Bring about a dozen copies of it that you can leave with mm-hmm. them. Um, you know, obviously dress for success. I mean, depending on the position that uh, that you may be, uh, well, because there's going to be. I think there's going to be banks. There's going to be uh, um, IBEW is going to be out there for like nice. for electricians. I mean, there's uh, uh, all kinds of things uh, available. So uh, uh, dress the part uh, if you can um, and uh, update that resume. What was and your first job? My first job uh, was actually in a with a title company. Oh, was it? Yeah. But How not old my, were you? But not my family. After college. Oh, oh, oh you mean when I was young. Oh, like literal first oh, job. Oh, literal, literal first job. I mean, my... Folk, uh, my dad managed the uh, the title company then, so I did uh, some odd jobs here and there. Like but the first paperwork. first official one was with Holder Mattress. What did you do with him? I built built mattresses and box springs and uh, That's delivered them. Never talk about Kokomo Post tries making a mattress. Mm-hmm. I always forget the yeah. Holder exists. Yep, and like Holder mattress. Not that they exist, but like they were making them here. Yeah, it's a cool thing. Yes, yeah, so when they were up on North Washington, just past the tracks there, across yep. from the Triangle, and uh, I mean, great family to work. Uh, for uh, did that uh, my uh, junior and senior well the summer between my sophomore and junior year uh, up into college uh, just did holidays and and a such mattress and, maker so you know I had a similar job for my first job did no, you? you didn't no nah, I was I was I worked at Dairy Queen Dairy Queen was my first job well that's kind of similar I had a I was my official title which this is important I was a grill master. Ooh, wow. I believe it. Mm-hmm. I made the best to this day. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, I worked at Dairy Queen. I worked the yes, grill, the fryers, all those Perfect. things. I've had some pretty significant titles for like not significant jobs yep. in my life. Yeah. I was a grill master at Dairy Queen, and then I also worked at Subway. And you know what those well, people are go. called? Sandwich artists. Sandwich artists. artists. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. I was a sandwich artist at Subway. Great job. Mm-hmm. Love that job. Learned how to make a sandwich real well. Yeah. You Perfect. Like you're about to say something about my sandwich artistness. No, your sandwich artist is great. I was going to tell you what my first job was. Oh, which yeah. was what, what was your first job? Uh, I worked in an 800 person bingo hall. Uh, 800, so person. 800 person? Yeah, like an 800 seat bingo oh, okay, hall. Gotcha. Oh, got it. Back like in New York. 800 yeah. people worked there? I know. It's like, <laughs> no, man, no. 800 huge. people um, smoke cigarettes and, oh, 600 people smoke cigarettes. There's a 200 person non-smoking, non-smoking section. section. Um, and I made coffee and chicken tenders. And um, those specific, those were your two things. Yeah. You were the a lot of and chicken coffee. tender girls. A lot of coffee. Um, and <laughs> two great tastes that taste great together. Hey, man. <laughs> As you're bingoing, 100%. It was, a, it was a really big operation. They gave away like. Uh, like if you got the cover all, it was a it was a big deal. I got like or wow. the Syracuse S, you got oh, like five thousand dollars. I bet it was it was a lot of money. I've never played crazy. bingo like in a public setting. I really? was I feel like I played it in school maybe, but like oh I don't gosh, remember. I've never been to a bingo hall. But those still exist. Careful, careful know. if you play bingo at churches, man, because some of those, those old churches it was, get, have like six cards, whatever. Oh That's it. It was oh, very serious yeah, with like all of the cards, and we sold our own like specialty brand of daubers. Oh, and daubers. it was like, it was a really, there were like a lot of like lucky charms and like, tr- like troll. Oh, da- yeah. It was a lot. Uh-huh. It was a lot. It's crazy. I learned many things. How long did you work there? Uh, two years. Two years wow. from like Perfect. 16. Wow. You're a good employee then. I was, I was still, still, this is a testament to like, um, you would appreciate this about me still to this day. Keep in touch with the manager. Do you really? Um, I sure do. Sure do. That's borderline creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's like good for relations, but also what's that little, guy talking to? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a, okay. it's a, it's a lady. But oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know if I'm proud of that. <laughs> Good job. Uh, 30 years later. We, you still, right. do they have like your plaque, like best coffee and chicken tender employee of all time? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's long since closed. Oh, that's a bummer. I oh. know. It's very sad. Well, it's very sad. Well, Good okay. story, guys. Good story. Yep. Yeah. 
perfect. Awesome. Well, uh, we have no questions today for the Ask the Mayor segment, so yeah. you just end us off on a dad joke. Guys, I let me off easy this week. That's true. Well, you know, next week will be hard then. That's, That's how it works. Ebbs and flows. Mm-hmm. True. Next so week, I expect 28 ready. questions about construction uh-huh. um, and roads sidewalks, and sidewalks. Potholes potholes and just someone and chain restaurants why don't we have more chain restaurants and then someone just generally saying come on mayor yeah come really on, come on. really Seriously? mayor yeah and that biden's expression is like come on man come on come man on. something like that <clears throat> yeah. well okay. you got a dad joke for us uh i do have a dad joke um nice obviously new month we're into april mm-hmm. um and uh, as it falls every year, but do you know when April comes before January? April comes before January. Uh-huh. I, I'm, no, I don't. In the dictionary. <laughs> mm, there it is. Aaron, have you been telling, have you ever told one of your jokes? Because we have we from her calendar? Yeah, she reads them off all the time, like to the entire office. No, but can I tell you my, uh, what I think is the funniest joke that has ever happened? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go ahead. What's this? I don't know. What is that? It's a flock of bees. <laughs> is that a mom joke? Is That's that... maybe a mom joke. I love it's, a, that. it's a whole flock of bees. <laughs> Are you going to use that tonight? But, but do you know what this is? What? I don't know. Here he comes again. Ah, there it is. He's heard it before. This guy's good. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of the Mayor Tyler Moore Show. Leave a question below in the comment if you have any for that Ask the Mayor segment. Let's load this guy up with questions next week. Uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, We'll see you next time. Bye, Kokomo.